All right, what is up everybody? Today we are back on some more Minecraft Xbox 360 and today we are going to be continuing the let's play that we started last week and I can still hear all of those mobs down there and uh, after looking through some of your guys's comments um, it looked like you guys really thought I should do the uh, the treehouse up top there so I think that that is going to be our primary goal for this episode. Um, I'd also like to try and go down like I said below where we can obviously hear all those mobs and uh, we can take care of some of those and kill them off. So I don't have to listen to their ugly faces hollering and screaming down there in the um, uh, dungeon, I'm assuming that they're in. So actually, um, between last episode and this episode, like I said, I did read your guys' comments. And um, I'm, I'm really thinking about taking a lot of your suggestions. So if you guys have any kind of specific things that you would like me to do in this series, do feel free to drop it down in the comments. And if I use your idea, I will post your comment on the screen. Um, I know a lot of people typically don't do it, but I try to be very interactive with, uh, with people that watch my videos. and know you guys, subscribers, and whatnot. Um, so I try to post comments of stuff. Um, I used to do it a whole lot more before um, I made like news type of videos and stuff. Because with news videos, you know, there's not really much space to put in subscriber comments. So that's why I'm going to try and kind of navigate away, at least for a little while, from the news videos. Simply because we just got TU12. And um, I'd like to, you know, enjoy Minecraft. You know, play mini games and stuff like that. And so as, as with suggestions for this Let's Play, also drop me suggestions on maybe custom apps you want to see me play. Um, you know, Hunger Games, stuff like that. I'm going to try and do a lot more... Um, interactive stuff with you guys um, if I can so that will be fun and I also got a couple of or I guess one pretty good story I want to tell you guys before uh, before we depart this episode so let's go ahead and start over here on actually I need to get some iron so I can do I have no I don't so I can get some vines so we can actually make it up that tree because it's not doing us any good to be sitting down here when actually you know what, let's go straight for let's actually, let me get this coal and then we are going to go straight for that cave where I can hear all of those mobs because I got a sword and I got full hearts so we should be able to very tentatively I'm saying this uh, be able to kill the mobs and stuff in there without getting smacked too bad obviously there's a good chance that I will probably die because oh and I already broke up my bed too that I slept in fail okay um but yeah, okay, we're just gonna do it. We'll see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? That's always my motto. Let me make a shovel real quick. Um, there it is. And then we can go down and say hello to our what sounds like a zombie and maybe a skeleton friend of ours. Yeah, down in. But hold on, it sounds like they're just kind of right below us here. So let's just uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 bad, 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 Woo, not today. Not today. What's up? Come on. Yeah, I bet you thought you could get the sneak attack, but I dropped in on you. I'm like a Minecraft paratrooper. That's what that was. I just dropped in. I said, what's up? And I dished out the whoop on. Now, there is actually, like, a bad glare on my screen right now, so I can't actually see what is going on. So let me make some more sticks. And we're going to light this joint up. Because I imagine you guys can't see too much better than I can. So let's see if we can get us some iron. And I'm breaking like Minecraft 101. I'm just smacking torches all over the place. At some point, I will do the little put it on the right-hand wall or the left-hand wall. Uh, but for now, let's see what we got. There's some more coal over there. Coal is always a good thing to get. Like, I'm not by any means an expert Minecrafter, but... If you see coal, there's like never a time you can't use coal. Unless you want to make armor. In which case, you probably can't use coal. No. No, I guess you can't. Okay, so there are times when you can't use coal. Um, but there are also times when you can. So. Food for thought. Oh, this is a very bad idea. I'm going to so die. Oh, yes. Okay. Actually, let me just get this. And I hear something off to my left. Off to my right. What is that? No big deal. Okay, let me get this. Iron. 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 Nice. Is there one more? No. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, say Cyanar to Creeper Boy down there because ain't nobody got time for that. Where is he at? Okay. 
And we are just going to go up, make some uh, some shears, get some vines, and then go up and work on our jungle home. So conveniently enough, I can see... Oh, I just heard a Enderman. Oh, I hope I didn't... I don't think I did. I really hope I didn't piss off an Enderman, because that would be very bad. And yes, the stairs are a little crude, and yes, that was like the worst building pattern ever. But I got a hatchet, so it's okay. There we go. And let's dig that out. And I hear stuff. But nothing to be concerned about, apparently. So let's go ahead and make some shears. And then we will head up the tree to salvation. And by that, I mean life in the jungle. Maybe I should call this like Tarzan craft or something, because we are Tarzan. You know, well, kind of. Despite the fact there's no jungle over there, we are still kind of like Tarzan. Sort of. Oh, okay, so I want to tell you guys a story. Okay, so, as many of you know, I, I go to college now. And um, I ride my bike to class, right? Because I, I got in a dorm that's, like, out in the middle of nowhere and has no AC, as you already know. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so, I bike into campus every day. And, um, like, on the, on the in campus, there's, like, sidewalks and stuff that people walk on, right? So, I always assume that, you know, it's it's made for both pedestrians and people who are biking. So I always ride my bike right up the middle of the street, or right up the middle of the sidewalk, right? Dodging and weaving, which is extremely dangerous, as I've come to find out. Like, whenever you're riding your bike, it always seems like people want to... Um, I'm you, Where am I putting those vines? Uh, people always want to try and get out of the way. Even though when you're riding the bike, you've already made adjustments for where they are. So when they move... They move right into your path, you know, so you're riding along, yada, yada, woo hoo hoo yeah, and then you got a swerver, you know, and then they're swerving, like, why are you swerving right now, because now I got to swerve, and then I go shooting off the sidewalk, and everybody's looking, like, does that kid know how to ride a bicycle? Yes, I know how to ride a bicycle, okay, so anyway, that's not even the story I'm telling you, oh, I got to not break this leaf I'm standing on, um, uh, there they are, so anyway, I was going from a class to the library, this is where the story was originally going, I was going from class to the library, and uh, the class that I was in was directly across the street from the library, so technically I could have walked my bike, but ain't nobody going to walk their bike if they can uh, ride it, right? Like who, like those people who walk their bike across the intersection? Like no. If I get hit by a car, I get hit by a car. But I'm walking, or I'm riding this bike. It, that's, that's my thought on it. Okay, maybe it's a dangerous thought. Anyway, so I was going across the street from my class to, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to use wood blocks for this? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I was going across the street from my class to the library. And in between the library and my class, there is like a little walkway. Um, kind of like an intersection. I'll, I'll try and draw something on the screen to better illustrate this point if I can. I'm by no means a good artist, so if you do see an artistic drawing, shut up, it's good. So anyway, I'm riding from my class to the library. And there's like a little inlet for like cars, like traffic. Um, but only like certain authorized personnel can go in there. So it's not used. I don't think I've ever seen it used ever But anyway, it's there. So it's like a driveway and then right on the other side of that driveway There are some bike racks So I was going from my class to those bike racks in front of the library So I could obviously go to the library, and, you know study and whatever else So I went and did that. This is very risky right here Like I am I'm scared Okay, so I was riding from there and speaking of risky this story is kind of risky so I was riding, and it was it was probably during lunch, or, yeah, it was about lunchtime. And right by the library, there's, like, a restaurant. So there's people, you know, there's all kinds of people going from class and going to the restaurant and everything else. So I was going, and I was riding my bike, and on in between that, or on the, uh, the driveway that I was going into, there was probably a foot-wide section that I could see that was coming up. Like, there was a gap in between the people walking, and I was like, I am going to hit that gap. I was going to say, what happened to all my torches there? Um, so I started speeding up so I could hit the gap, you know, so I could make it in between and not be a huge deal. So I'm speeding up, speeding up, speeding up, and I'm making it. I'm like, I'm going to hit this thing. And then at, oh, I almost died. Um, uh, and then at like the last second, the gap started to close and I was like, oh crap. So I, I just went for it. So I was running and then I shot through the hole and there was probably an inch on either side of my handlebars. And, and this, this dude is like there and he's like, oh my God. And he hollered, and I just went shooting through, and the only thing I could think to say was, howdy. <laughs> so I just said howdy, and I kept riding over. 
and uh, I went I went and put my bike on the bike rack and uh, I didn't see who it was so hopefully he didn't recognize me from behind uh, he'll be like you're that idiot that doesn't know how to ride the bike you know like okay but so anyway yeah biking biking is pretty dangerous stuff when you're riding on the sidewalk and there's lots of people so one of these days I'll probably get crippled riding my bicycle it'll probably happen it probably will um, but that day hasn't come yet. Excuse me. That day hasn't come yet, so we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Oh, and on that same note, <laughs> okay, another story of me hurting myself. Uh, yesterday we were going um, to like a little celebration bash thing, and uh, I was walking with my buddy from my dorm, and uh, there was like a chain link fence. Well, it wasn't a chain link fence. It was like a. Again, if I can draw it, I'll draw another thing here. Um, but it was like a little fence. I'm gonna go back down to that cave and see if we can get some more supplies for the heads up uh, but I was going down or we were going over to the bash and uh, there was like a little fence and it wasn't really a fence it was just like uh, like two metal bars and there was like chains you know it wasn't a fence but you could easily walk over it if you took your time so anyway we were like okay let's go over that and I said dude if you cannot jump over this I'm never gonna let it go you know cuz it was a little short thing and I thought oh I if he bites it I'm gonna laugh and laugh and laugh because you know I'm one of those people that laughs when somebody gets hurt um, and for the record so is my father so that's where I got that from I'm not just uh a psychopath entirely um, but oh sweet baby you were not there a second ago where where did you come from give me this give me this all right time for you to get the whoop on goodbye okay so anyway I was like let's jump it so he was in front of me so he ran first and he made it fine I was like okay I gotta make this so I tried to do like a hurdle jump you know where you glide your foot over whatever but apparently that's like the worst type of way to jump these things so my front ankle got caught on <laughs> on the on the top rope. It wasn't a rope. It was like a chain. Uh, my foot my foot got caught on that, and I just went bam straight down into the ground. And it was it was it wasn't hilarious because I got it hurt, uh, but it was embarrassing because I was like, if you fall, I'm never gonna let it go. And then I bit it. So moral of the story there, kids, is that uh, you probably shouldn't harass people before they do something. If there's a likelihood you're gonna fail to so just keep that in mind for the future and there's some coal here so let's get this and I'm going to make some more torches and then hopefully we're gonna get enough stuff so we can get some armor so that I think I have food don't I yeah and hopefully we'll come across the wolf too cuz now I got a bone and I can use that to uh, to get us a wolfie because, like, the best thing you could ever do on this game is get a wolf. Because wolves are, 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 they're pretty OP. It is. They're, they're pretty OP. You know I mean? If you were fighting somebody and you had a wolf and they had, like, full iron armor and they weren't attacking the wolf, they were attacking you, that wolf would, that wolf would put the whoop on. Because wolves are good. And, like, same with mobs. Like, you get shot by a skeleton. But the skeleton keeps shooting you before, uh, before it shoots the wolf. So then by the time it starts shooting the wolf, it's already dead. And there's a zombie. So if I buy wolf, all I'd have to do is go wham. And then he'd be dead. But unfortunately, I don't have a wolf yet. Ah, die. Okay. So, we're just going to have to make do with what we got. And I apologize if you can hear like people in the background or something. I am in my room. I can hear people talking out there. But hopefully my microphone don't pick that up. That's the hope anyway. And I think I'm getting a little too much coal, honestly. Um, but... Like I said, it can never hurt to have coal. So let me finish collecting this. And then we'll keep heading down. I hope we find like a dungeon. Um, so I can... I'd like to go to the end at some point in this. Let's play. But like I said, I will be accepting lots of suggestions. I like this cave. Um, on what we should do in here. So do feel free to, like I said earlier, drop a comment down below with stuff I should do and uh, I'll try and get around to that and there's just lots of iron I don't even let me see is this the end of it and I've, I know how I said I was going to follow some kind of wow this place is huge okay I was gonna follow some kind of torch placement thing but you know I got him in the middle I got him on the right I got him on the left it ain't no big deal you know I really need to break this pickaxe so I can go up and uh, what was that noise what was that noise? No. I am not dying today. Not today. Okay, let me get this. 
And let's actually, let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna go put this stuff in a chest. Because I got a lot of stuff. And I ain't looking to lose it. So let's mosey our way on up. So yeah, anyway. Like I said, if you're ever biking on uh, on some busy streets, like I mean, these sidewalks are packed, you know. So biking is biking is pretty dangerous in and of itself. But when you start throwing in the uh, the the gaps that you got to try and hit when you're biking, you know, it's dangerous. But it's exciting, and plus, throw in the fact that you're wearing like a 30-pound backpack around, and no, and no, and no, go boom. You can go boom. That's fine. You can go boom. Just make sure you're not next to me. And you should be dead now. Goodbye. Okay. So yeah, it's and I tried to ride no-handed, <laughs> like the first. Uh, like I can ride no, I can ride no-handed on a bicycle, pretty easy, typically. But I didn't realize that wearing a backpack, you know, it hindered, hindered, yeah, hindered your ability to ride a bicycle so much. So I tried to go no-handed. You know, I was looking all cool. I was trying to put my my headphones in, so I could bike to class with some music, you know, some jams, because jams are uh, are good for biking. And so I was trying to do that. Where's the chest at? There it is. A couple of those. Um, and I was biking, and I was like, okay, I can do no hand and put in my headphones. And then <laughs> and there was like a pothole or something. Oh, Paul, God. Oh, man, I just got stories for days. I have another one, but I'll probably say that for next episode. But anyway, uh, I was biking, and, you know, it's, it's just one of those, you think you're going to bite it, but then from the grace of some higher deity or something, you don't bite it. You know, it's like, oh, <gasps> It's like mini heart attack, and wow, I realize that that noise might have been a little suggestive, but you understand, you know, like that moment of you almost fell, but you didn't. It's like, win, and I should make a furnace, but I didn't. Wow, okay. So, actually, with that, I think we are going to call it for episode two. If you guys are enjoying this Let's Play, like I said, please do drop me a like down below and don't forget to drop your suggestions i really do want to take your guys suggestions on this so do feel free to drop one down below and uh, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the let's play and some other minecraft xbox 360 stuff and with that said that's about it for me i will see all of you guys in the next episode peace